hey guys welcome to the share this is naja watch vlog please subscribe like share comment and also follow us across other social media platforms my name is Ewase. um i'm not in a very the best of moods um i had earlier i had spoken about a missing girl in your bomb umar in a bomb state for you who had apparently left home to seek for a job and it's for it to be accepted by one Frank Uduak Aban. Uh, Frank's father, his sister and his girlfriend were all involved in this like a family business. They said um, his dad started it and then his dad moved into what the son who now taught his sister and his girlfriend about it in Yobo Omori. And he said he buried her body in a shallow grave. Her body has been discovered by the police and taken to deposited uh, in the morgue for a written autopsy. Guys, all what Inyobong wanted to do was to get a job. All she wanted to do was to make a living for herself. All this girl wanted to do was to get something doing while she awaits her NYSC. The girl's child isn't safe anymore. Nobody, nobody is safe anymore in this country because more pictures coming up of missing people here and there you know and it is very sad this is very very sad and heartbreaking that we're still struggling with insecurities at these heights in the country in this she wasn't just kidnapped she was raped she was murdered and I suspect it wasn't supposed to end up this way for her. Probably the whole thing had escalated on social media and the best way to to handle it was to kill her as to not have her confess or point them out. That's what I think happened. It's quite unfortunate that we live in a very messed up world. A very messed up world. We live in the world of ass kissers. Those who want to please their bosses, those they look up to, they want to, they want to please them so bad that they, they say horrible things to support them. I mean the case of Baba Itesha. Please, nobody should say this, is, this case is dragging so it needs to be dragged. I like the fact that from as it, as the story develops, new evidence are brought up against Baba Yijisha. Because right now the footage has been released, and I couldn't watch past ten seconds. I don't even think I watched up to five seconds. I couldn't, and I'm sorry I can't bring it up on the show. But if that is the clip. If that is the footage the police saw and came to say it's a bailable offense that he tossed her arm to just her arm he tossed I read that he, he, he squeezed her he like hugged her squeezed her at some point he was licking her fingers he squeezed her backside. Was the police watching from the back of the TV? Were they watching from the back of the TV? Because if that's what they saw, and they could, they could come up to say, he's, no, he should be behind bars. Await justice behind bars. Don't let him come out until proven guilty by the court of law. And it is very, very disappointing and appalling that some celebrities, those who call themselves celebrities, are coming up to say it's a setup. Um, 
Yomi said it's a trap using an underage child to, to set up um, Baba Idesha. Hence, they should also um, punish the family for putting her up there to be used as a trap. How do you think? How do you think of these things? Does it make sense to you? You that's opening your mouth to say, does it make sense to you? Can you for can you take a second to put this child in your place? Just step into this child's shoes. He did he molested her seven years ago. It has affected her uh, academically and probably psychologically because there's no way you won't her head will be messed up. He's he allegedly had used a key. If she could say this happened several years ago and you came back to the house to make advances to her, why would you why do you think she made up she made up what happened seven seven years ago? How how could she, could she have possibly made it up? If this evidence wasn't here, if this footage wasn't here, we would have said probably they're just exaggerating what happened. She didn't really touch her like that. We would have probably, but there's, there's evidence to prove these things. The evidence has been brought up, and now you're saying it's a trap, it's a setup. Really, this is why the video should never had surfaced. This child will one day become an adult and these things will be used against her. The internet never forgets. The internet, no, they forget. And with the kind of people supporting Baba Idesha right now, it's a kind of people that will still come up to use this thing to town time the future. Her face was blurred in the video. Yeah, best thing that happened. The trauma of having faced this already is enough. It's enough. And by the time the video got to three minutes, I started crying. When he started rubbing her feet, raising her dress up, rubbing her breast, I became so furious. I started crying. Now, this is my two cents. Anybody who justifies this, who still wants to ask questions, you are a bad person. You are a terrible person. If you still are in that position to feel that or to assume that okay why didn't she or why wasn't there or okay why did princess why did she even try to set him up again when it already happened or why didn't they report the case earlier all, all of now god go judge now if this video does not show that this man should be in jail i still think about the fact that the police are calling this thing a available offense he's gonna make bail come out and be a free man and in the next couple months or less you're gonna see him featuring in the movie this is how it's gonna come down and if he Yoba Idisha ever tries to run for governorship he's gonna win the way Nigeria is going the way, the way Nigeria is set make it not shock you I don't be surprised if he wins the election or the, or the very possible because already look at the police taking his side that is a believable offense the court says otherwise and all that the same police that shoot young men for having beards the same police that shoots young men for having dreadlocks the same police that shoots young men for keeping long hair or braiding their hair the same police that kill young men for piercing their ear or wearing jewelry who was their offense
misplaced priorities that's all i can say misplaced priorities this is why people don't speak up in issues of rape or sexual assault this is why they don't speak up aside being scared the culprit might come for them the police ain't gonna do nothing the police won't do anything about it next day you see the person walking around a free man and most case scenario they're coming back again to torture you to frustrate your entire life please i know with the rate of joblessness in this country try and stay safe wherever you're going share your locations if you think it's too risky if you think um before you when you get a job interview research the place go to naira land put put in the uh, information of the job interview you're going to find out if it's true or not ask around use google to find out these company names let's try to be alert the the security level in nigeria isn't what it used to be can see what i mean like we've ever been saved in this country anyway let's just try as much as possible to keep ourselves safe be careful where you go to make sure someone is aware of where you're going to there's a list of jobs that has come that's already circulating the internet go through it try and stay safe guys stay safe all right i love you guys this is niger watch blog please subscribe to this channel like our page, follow us and share. Thanks for watching. My name is Noah Seth.